everyone. Welcome to another cookie chat. Um, felt good to be getting back into the swing of things today as far as channel-wise goes. I've been, um, I got two, possibly three Yu-Gi-Oh! videos headed your way, two Resident Evil, one Luigi's Mansion. I, I'm planning on doing some Final Fantasy after this. Um, I got myself some pepper turkey from the deli I work at as a little snack to eat during the episode, so it's, it's all good. It's all good. Um, the reason why I say maybe three is because a good part of both videos, but mostly the second Yu -Gi -Oh, or the third Yu-Gi-Oh video, involved me trying to fight the system, finding matches, and when I would get matches, people I play against. I couldn't tell if they were just taking long turns or the thing wasn't working. So, I might not even bother to put that one up, to be honest. The only thing cool... Hmm. The only thing cool about that episode is I got first turn Dragon Master Knight. I love getting first turn Dragon Master Knight. And it was on an empty field, too. It's great. So anyway, um... Yeah, I got that stuff headed out. I was listening to uh, the Co-Optional Podcast today, and it just got me excited about playing video games. Uh, certain ones, but I can't play certain games until I beat others. Then I realized how hard is it to sit down and just play the games I have to play. So I started doing it, and it was fun. Especially Luigi's Mansion. You know, that's a game that's aged really well. Um still looks really good, still most importantly sounds really good. That's my favorite part of that game, the sound design. It's spectacular. Hmm. And uh, let's see. This is a little concerning. This has been at 15% with the time climbing for a few hours. So I don't know if it's really working and not telling me because it does that sometimes, or if I'm just going to have to restart, so we'll see. Um, channel growth has slowed down just a little bit, mainly because lately I haven't been uploading that much. Um, I still need to just try and find a way to get people to actually sit down and watch, because if you can look at your analytics and see just on average how long people are watching. For about 90% of my videos, people watch for just a little bit and then they leave right away. And I gotta... When I finally get the time, I'll, I need to get that editing software and just improve. Um, you know, I can cut down on the tedium and make my thumbnails look good. Still super proud of that one, though. <laughs> Never not gonna be. Um. Alright, let's go back to the cookies. That's what matters. Um. Let's see real quick. Um. My, um, just a few blocks from my house uh, in a couple weeks gonna be having a big fighting game tournament in town where guys coming in from all over the state and, uh, playing fighting games, that's going to be pretty fun, because, you know, I won Mortal Kombat, the last big one they had in the state, and I think they're going to be streaming it. They should be streaming it. Yeah, so, I, I'll put up in a video the Twitch channel it's going to be streaming on if, if if that gets announced, or when when or if it gets announced. And, uh, so yeah, if you're in the Billings, Montana area, yeah, come on down. Good time. Billings, beat down, beat down. Um, uh, part of the reason I haven't been uploading lately is work has just been getting more and more stressful. With the coming of Cinco de Mayo, which was yesterday as of, as of like a minute, two minutes ago, there was a sale for about five days on 
tortilla chips. The deal was, for $5, you buy guacamole, and you get free tortilla chips. Guess who has to make all those tortilla chips? It's my department, and we were stretched very thin, especially since our best employee got moved to another department. So, it's meant more closings for me and longer nights. I've been working, pretty much every closing shift has been an overtime shift for me. Even with, um, I talked to my boss about it a couple days ago. And I asked her if it's alright on days when we're short on closing, which is going to be most of them. If we schedule it from 1.30 to 10.30 instead of 1 to 10. Because we're going to be there that late anyway. And at least we won't be soaking up overtime and being there for so long. And she said, yeah. Even then, I'm still there till 11. But I'm hoping that doesn't become typical. Thank God the sale's over now. So instead of having one person frying and one person bagging chips all day, we can actually try and keep the deli maintained so we don't have to literally do an entire day's worth of cleaning at the end of the night. It's very depressing when that happens. Damn it. Today has not been a lucky day for cookies. Almost all bad stuff. Um, and, uh, well, I guess we get a new girl this week from... She used to man... Of, like, the nine stores in town, she used to manage the least busy deli in the least busy store, and she got demoted from that. She either got demoted or stepped down. And so she's just a regular employee now. And I've heard she's like a big tweaker, so... Yay. I get to work with that now. And she's gonna be working mostly mornings, but I hope that changes. Actually, no. I heard um, their strategy with her. They're gonna have her on mornings to get her trained on sandwich making. And then they're um, going to have her go back and work mids and closes. Because that's not... I'm closing four nights a week now, and I used to be doing three, and I don't really like that. I'm tired of it. I just like to... Imagine the kind of stress we had. There was a day, I think it was yesterday, where it was just Connor and I. Either it was just Connor and I or just Connor and I and one other person. It's a dinner rush. We have tons of people lined up. Um, our, uh, the deli looks like a mess because people have not stopped coming to the counter since it opened. So, you know, you're short-staffed, so that means... There's two people there, and they have to be getting the counter. I mean, it looks terrible, but you can't stop and clean. The people won't let you clean. You know, you got a slice or cake with meat on it, you can't do anything about it. It's awful. So, that's bad, but it's not the awful thing. Uh, we see by our little uh, chip and guac sale display, our boss, Dan Sloan, is standing there. Next to everyone's boss, Chuck Kramer, the district manager of all of Albertsons. And I'm just sitting there like, shit. <laughs> all the top dogs are there, and we have like, we're in the middle of a massive rush, and they're looking at the chip display, probably thinking why there are not more chips out there. Because there's never enough chips. That's, that's the one solid fact, continuous fact, I've learned about working in the deli. Even if there's not a sale, you don't have enough chips. Because they're not they're pretty cheap. They're like two ninety nine or something. They're pretty good. Pretty good and you get a good amount of them. Um Especially the Southwestern. I don't even know what we put in the Southwestern seasoning, but it's good. But yeah, I was like really paranoid Dan and Chuck were gonna come over while we were doing all this and we were due a state inspector at some point this week. I don't think we ever actually got him. I hope we did. 
But there were days when my boss was like, hey, by the way, State Inspector might come in today. So, you know, if he comes, make sure you're doing all the safety crap that we never do. And make sure, you know, make sure it looks nice. When there's two of you, and there's no way you could possibly have keep it clean and help customers. So he did, he was supposed to come one day. He didn't come for a few days, if he came at all. So I don't I don't. It was just a bad, difficult week. At least our, our employee that moved out of our department, he got like a three dollar raise. That's good for him. He's gonna be making a lot of money because he went from nine fifty four, which is what I make, to like twelve something, I think high twelves, and he's gonna be working about fifty hours a week, so he's gonna be making a lot of money for a while. I mean, he says he doesn't mind it. I would hate it. He got moved to the meat department, so he's going to be cutting up. He's one of the guys in the back cutting up all the different meat cuts. Not something I would like. I said one of the reasons I wouldn't want to do it was the smell. He says, oh, you just get used to it. And I was going to argue, but then I realized I can't even smell what grease smells like anymore. After working around fryers for so long. And I like have to stick my head inside the fryers and the fryer pots and clean them out. It has to be really bad for me to smell it. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the idiot David I work with. Uh, one day, uh, I was walking by the prep sink, which is right next to the salad cooler, which is just a big walk-in cooler. So I go in, I have an eight-pound potato salad at both my hands at my waist. So, you know, my arms are kind of weighed down. Not going to be getting any quick movements out of them. I'm walking back out of the cooler behind him. I want you to keep in mind, the way the prep sink is, it's, there's usually a garbage can to the left of it. I was not to the left of him, I was walking directly behind him. And I'm directly behind him, all of a sudden, I get slapped in the face with something. A bag that you, was holding raw pieces of chicken and is just covered in raw chicken blood. And I get it my eyes all over my face, almost get it in my mouth, and I still cannot comprehend how the fuck he did it. And, you know, my hands are full, I, I can't, like, protect myself. I don't even think I could have reacted in time, it was just out of nowhere. I mean, the, the way our, our box of chicken work, you get a box, and the box has bags, and I think the bags have, like, 16 pieces in them. Honestly, I've never counted. I'm usually in a hurry when I'm prepping chicken, but... I was fucking pissed. <gasps> he's, he's been getting... I don't know how, but he gets worse. And I have to work with him till 8 tomorrow. He's usually only there till 4.30. No, he's gonna be there till 8.30. Uh, like, like the other day, our rotisserie oven. You, it's not that hard. You put the little, you know, um, the part that sticks out of the skewers into the holes on the wheels of the rotisserie oven. It's pretty simple. Um, so I was checking something in the rotisserie oven. You know, uh, you know, the time went off, and I was making sure they were temping out. And I noticed uh, one of the skewers just sitting at the bottom, looking about half cooked. That's David's fault. The, the reason it was like that is because uh, the heat from a rotisserie oven, it, it's not uh, an encompassing heat like a regular oven. It comes from the sides. Or, I can't, I think that's what Lisa said. She might not know. It comes from, it, but it comes from fixed points. So that's why it has to rotate to cook properly. If it doesn't rotate, then you're going to have only certain parts cooked. And uh, that happened, and. The rotisserie oven just plain broke last night for a few hours. We had to cook some in the bottom oven. And David was supposed to deal with it before he left. And all of a sudden, he just disappears. He was supposed to take trash. He was supposed to put out the chickens. And he just disappears. We can't get him to leave when we want to. Like, he will stay and soak up like a half hour overtime when we don't want him to. But when we actually need him to do something... No. No, no, no. No. No, no, no. It's the worst. Um. I'm trying to think what else. Well, it's just been so exhausting. I don't. I don't even. I just really wish I could get some time off. I mean, a, few, a, a month or two ago, I felt like I could just ask for five days off out of nowhere, and I'd probably get it. But. 
That was when we had another person who was looking good, but she got fired because she did some dumb stuff. Um, we had a couple other people lined up to, to get the job. One of them just, like, uh, was doing good in her interview, and then Dan was like, okay, now we're going to do your drug test. Here, like, just put this in your mouth. And she's like, oh, you know, you know, I got a ride waiting for me. I got to go, you know, they're waiting, so bye. Because she was, uh, and she texts because she's a friend of someone else. She's like, yeah, I was doing, like, meth earlier, ha, ha, ha. Or, so, she, yeah, she wasn't going to pass. Um, another one went up, and, you know, she was doing good, and Dan asked her, so what if I didn't want you to work in the deli? She's like, well, I'd, I'd really rather work in the deli. And Dan was like, oh, and I, I asked Je uh, Jennifer, because it was a friend of hers, too. She's had, like, eight friends trying to get jobs there. None of them had. Most of them for drug-related things or felony-related things. Uh, because she met a lot of these people through drug treatment. But this one, like, was solid. And apparently Dan was of the mice. Oh, you think you can tell me where you want to work in my store? Uh-uh, that's not how it works. You'd work where I tell you to work. I'm like, well, that's great, Dan, but now we're short-staffed again. Thanks. I mean, what? Well, in the job application, it has you fill out the department you want. Why do you have that if you don't want people to pick your department? Or their department. So, and it doesn't help that now, in the last couple of weeks, it's been really nice. Um, probably, it hasn't gotten cooler all day and night than, like, 60, and it doesn't get hotter than 80. And it's just, it's like the epitome of spring weather. Getting a little rain here and there, but... Like, a little while ago, it rained for, like, what, 20 minutes? Just enough to keep it nice. Um, and that has just brought people out of the woodwork. We actually have been selling out a salad this week. Because people come in, they order, like, two pounds of every single salad. And we ran out of a lot of our staple salads. And I guess it's like that for everyone, because our, um, the warehouse, because the way Albertsons work when you do your order... There's a big giant Albertsons warehouse, and then they send you the stuff. But apparently the warehouse short on stuff, so we got super shorted on a bunch of salads. So I don't know how we're supposed to make it when they're doing that. I mean, I guess... Oh, goody, today's Wednesday, so that means when I come into work, we get to... Hopefully, it'll hopefully already be done, but there'll be a truck to take apart. I mean, we get shipments in, they're pretty big. Downtown store gets, like, almost nothing because they don't get any customers. But us, we get so much crap. Uh, but on to more positive news, I have uh, been building a shadow deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, a physical deck. I have most of the cards. I'd ordered some El Shadal fusions, and I guess they just didn't come in. I should really check the status of that. Um... What else? Uh, need just a couple other things. But it's coming along nicely. I'm really looking forward to it being a full strength. Um, really glad there's a meta deck I can actually enjoy playing now. I really don't like the mechanics most of modern Yu-Gi-Oh has. I've, I've grown to appreciate a lot of them, but some of them I just... I just don't like. But, Shadows are good. Shadows are fun. And they have lots of options, too. That's one thing I like about playing 60-card decks sometimes. You know, you'll see... You have lots of variety happen, where most of these other decks, they do the same exact thing every time. But Shadows aren't completely like that. Like, um... Shadow Hedgehog has a flip effect. I will almost never use that, but there... Oh! But there are going to be times when I will want to use that. And I'll have a little variety. Same thing with, um... Shadow Squamata. I'll almost never want his flip effect, but he's there if I want it. Probably the best, honestly, the best shadow card effect-wise is probably Falco, because his discard effect, or his uh, grave effect, just special summons himself face down, and his flip effect special summons another sh any other shadow monster face down. It's really good. 
It's really, really good. Um, trying to think if I missed anything. <laughs> Talked about how bad work's been. Talked about getting slapped in the face with chicken blood. Talked about the channel a little bit. Yeah, I, th I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna try and uh, do some Final Fantasy next, see how that goes. You know? So some some good fun and uh Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching.